Hi, I'm Sarah Crowley coming to you from St. George, Utah, home of the 2021 North American 70.3 Championship and the 2021 70.3 World Championship. So I'm going to show you a few of the cool places around town and one of them is the Advenir Hotel, newly built right behind me. And it is also, for all you triathletes out there, just 150 metres from transition and both the bike and the run course come right by the hotel. So the Avenir Hotel is one of the Marriott's exclusive autograph hotels and it's based really close to the Zion National Park, Sand Hollow and Snow Canyon as it's in downtown St George. But the best bit is the hotel, restaurant and bar so let's come in and take a look. So what I really love about this hotel is you're met with amazing warmth as you come in. You can see the lovely like colonial slash I don't know, pioneer type decor of sort of early Utah. So um, yeah, it's got amazing furnitures and fittings and just a, an awesome feel. But let's keep going and take a look at the Rad Bar. It's a fully licensed bar, one of the only in St. George, Utah. Um, it's got a really cool vibe. So yeah, post race, this is the place to be. So this is the Wood Ash Rye restaurant entrance and this is probably one of the nicest restaurants in St. George, Utah. So um, we'll take a look but it's an open style um, kitchen um, so you can actually see the chefs making the food so it makes it quite an interactive style dinner. I think it's uh, yeah it's really exclusive so book early um, but yeah come and take a look. So the coolest thing about this place is the amazing open style kitchen. So you can actually see the chef uh, cook and prepare your meal. Uh, it's an American cuisine and it's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. But yeah, very uh, exclusive, especially around dinner. So make sure you book early. Another cool feature about the Wood Ash Rye restaurant is this really large private dining area. So if you're looking at a corporate function or a party perhaps after the race, um, yeah, there's this private area that can be closed off with doors and it's got a really cool uh, TV hidden behind this mirror. So um, if you want to relive your race moments, you can perhaps get it played on there. Um, there's definitely another a nice feature, especially if you're traveling with a big group or you've got a, a team with you. Um, maybe you want to share your experience and talk about the race. Really excited to show you some of the rooms at the Advenir and one of them which we're about to show you now is the premier room. It's the King Terrace. Um, so we'll just go in here and take a look. I think the amazing thing about the rooms here is the, the fittings. Um, you really get a nice homely vibe. Um, this one's on the top floor, but it features a bay window, which you'll see in here. It has access to the terrace, which I'll show you in a second. You can see the race on race day, and also a four foot claw bath. Um, all the rooms in the hotel have various combinations of those features. Um, but this one here is the top premier suite. So let's take a look out on the terrace and see what you see if you come here on race day. So you can enjoy your breakfast in your room and sunrise on this uh, really cool table here and this amazing view of the red rock around the corner. And then on race day, you can bring everyone up here and sit at this cool sofa and actually watch the ride and the run go by right here on the top floor underneath underneath your room and so you can just see down the road it's the roundabout for the race um, it's got the Ironman M dot uh, new mural feature and um, yeah so that's transition just literally right there so from right here you'll be able to watch the bikes come in from from the bike leg uh, they'll turn at the end of the street um, transition and then you'll see all the runners come out they'll head up this road uh, toward the Red Rock um, they'll be going for a little while so you can sit back and relax and wait for them to come back and then uh, when we're really hurting, but we're on a downhill, we'll be heading back down here to the finish line. So you'll be able to cheer everyone on through to the finish um, and then wait for your family and friends, meet them at the finish line, it's 200 metres away. So we're going to have a look at another one of the really cool rooms here. This is a King Cabana Suite. This room's a little different. It still has quite a large bathroom and bedroom area. You still get the bay window um, that almost has like a little 
You can't see this, but behind there is actually like a little study. But what you do get in this room is your own little private lounge. You have a television there, you can sit and relax in this really nice area. But the best bit about it is that it has these double doors that open directly out onto the main terrace with spa. So this is the main terrace. So you have access from the King Cabana suite anytime you like. And after hours, it's all yours. So there's a fire pit just here and you can sit back, relax and enjoy this spa anytime you like from your room. So after your race at the North American 70.3 Championship, come by to the Advenir Hotel and have a drink, maybe have a meal at Woodash Rye and plan your stay for the World Championships in September. Mm -hmm.